The common cold, each time you get a cold, it takes one day off of your life on the mortality chart. Okay? And they know it. And anyone in the insurance business understands it. All right? And myself, I, I, I haven't had a cold in over three years. Man. Okay. And the reason is I watch everyone around me. If someone is running around with sneezing or coughing, I walk the other way. The only way you can get a cold is through another person. It's viral. It's what you touch. So if someone's sneezing, see, it's hard in, the, in you know, dealing with the occupation you're in. Yes. Your occupation, it's a high mortality. Your life expectancy is lower and your insurance is higher. But if people can control it, watch everyone around you. See someone sneezing, sniffling, whatever. Get away from them. And brothers and sisters, we promote that you homeschool your children. All the people that have any sense are now going to homeschooling. They'll send you your books and computers, everything, to your home. I know because I homeschool my son. That's another place where these drugs and all that, these, that, these airborne diseases, they're in your schools. And they'll be bringing these diseases back home to, to the houses through your schools. So go ahead, brother. What was your question? Go ahead. Um, my daughter has asthma. Is there a natural remedy? I mean, because it's a lot of folks that got asthma. She's got it, and I know once she gets going, I mean, it gets bad, and it can just lock her down. Is there, once we make the, the exodus to where we're going, will they have access to meds? For asthma, it's two good things. There's a natural uh, cure you can get. Uh, green tea is good because I'm an asthmatic myself, and the majority of black people have asthma. They put that in our vaccines. Oh. Stay away from dairy products if you can. Keep away from dairy, anything with mucus. Uh, uh, that, that, that creates mucus like dairy products. Uh, uh, bee pollen is the best thing. Two tablespoons of bee pollen every day. Okay. Okay. And that deals with the constriction. When, uh, when the bronchial tubes tighten up, it'll stop it from tightening up. That's the biggest issue. Uh, two, ta two tablespoons of bee pollen every day. And colloidal silver works great against asthma also. And we have colloidal silver within the church. What what strength do you have? The highest million that you can get. I think it's, uh, the brother can get on, I think it's 50, 40 parts per million. Yeah, okay. So you can get that, all right? So we can talk. I have your number we'll talk about. I have 10 minutes. I've got to get the rest of the people in. Okay, thank you. Go to an herbal store, get some bee pollen, two tablespoons a day. It's real good. You can put it in tea, have them eat it or drink it. She'll be fine. Okay. Right? Okay. All right. All right. Shalom. Shalom. Okay, we have someone from the 727 area code. Let's see here. This is Rakasha from the Gavin of Christ Church. How are you doing this evening? Shalom, Brother Carr. Shalom. Talk to me. This is Brother Johnny here in Florida. Man, I miss you, brother. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Oh, uh, man. I'm, man, I got to call you. I'm going to call you. Don't worry about it. Talk to uh, me. We only got a few uh, minutes. I was just reflecting off your topic today. You know, our society is basically now is a society of uh, sorcerers, witchcraft, and pagans. You know, the number one movie in America right now is Harry Potter, a movie about sorcerers and witchcraft, warlocks. Mm -hmm. And our, our whole society is moving towards that, from our television shows to our and books that they teach. I have a book of witches going into because they also call on Yahweh. Mm -hmm. The highest deity the witches call on. They sitting around, grown old people, butt naked, about three dudes and three women in a circle naked. <laughs> so they're dealing with all types of freakisms too, but go ahead. Yeah, but that, that's just our society now. You know, when I first came into this truth, the question that was posed to me was, were we a cult? 
But now I reflect back nine months later, and I look at society, and society is one giant cult. And we're walking around in truth. We're walking around outnumbered, outgunned. Hey, they ready to destroy us. Yeah. The- they done recruited they, they done recruited society to stomp off the elect. Exactly. You, man, this is man, that's why the Lord wants us out of here. <laughs> and this it's, this whole society is madness now and it ain't it's a day a, that you can't see it. It's the night of the living dead. You know what there's zombies running around turning everyone else to zombies. It's talking about our society. They turning all of us into them. <laughs> exactly. You know, and this, these outlets of our classes, from blog, blog radio to Justin TV, these will seem like the only outlet where we can connect with our people and it's the uplifting that we need at every two or three days that we get. Refuels our energy to deal with this society. Praise the Father. The Lord put an outlet out there for people of like mind that knew something. We knew something was wrong with this place, man. So it's just those little, that, that little elect just gathering with each other and saying, you know what, I'm glad there's someone in this earth see the earth the way we do. It's called the gathering of Christ. We're the elect, brother. Yeah, true, true. Well, like okay. I said, I just want to call in and, and uh, like I say, you know, keep doing what you're doing. We with you every day. Got our prayers with you. Thank you, brother. Right. And brother, listen, I'm never going to stop. Sister called last week and say, brother, don't sell out. I'm like, listen, I was bought with a price. You're shy as blood. I've been running too long to sell out to this wicked, evil society. I will fight with my life. I will fight with my life. I will never turn over to the dark side. Shalom, brother. Shalom. All right. We have someone from the 518 area code. We only have six minutes. We try to squeeze you in. Shalom. Call from the gathering of Christ. How are you doing this evening? Shalom, brother. I am blessed. This is Sister Tammy from New York. You get in somewhere or the other, don't you? How are you doing, sister? I'm just blessed. You know, I want to get back to the topic, though, and look at Luke 5 and 31. It says, And Yeshia answered, saying unto them, that, the, that they that are whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. And the word whole in the Greek means to have sound health, to be well. Figuratively, it means to be uncorrupt, true in doctrine. So we do not need a physician. We need to step out in faith and sing the song of Moses because we know who we serve. We serve the Most High God, the great physician, the physician of all physicians, and (laughs) can do all things for us, all things. Absolutely, sister. There's nothing that I've seen. At the, listen, that's why I don't get bent out of shape. Mm-mm. All the diseases they have out here, they put in our vaccines, man. Then they're they calling them sexually transmitted disease, knowing that they were time-release drugs, time-release diseases that would one day be a pandemic amongst our people. Yeah. Now, I'm a nurse, so my whole thing is looking at things holistically and how we can you know, use the things that God gave us, like the young girl that called in a little while ago, ginger root helps for pain and headaches. You know, that helps with an inflammatory medication. And for um, Brother, I think that was, uh, was that Brother Shala that called in just a minute ago? Um, I'm not sure, but he, he said something about his daughter being asthmatic. We have natural ability in our breathing techniques that can prevent asthma attacks. I am a severe asthmatic, and I have really hardly had to depend on my asthma medicine but maybe a handful of times in the last 12, 13 years. That's a blessing, sister. That's a blessing. And there's this this brother, Kakad, and his wife, I think Shamara, Hebrew baby on YouTube. And I have to get on the show one of these days because deals directly with the herbs, and there's, let me tell you, you're going to find out that the medications we take that are tearing down our organs, the active ingredient is the actual herb you can take without the pill. Mm-hmm. Yep. Get the actual herb, which is they'll give you 10% or 2% of the actual herb, 
and the rest will be uh, uh, part of medicines or preservatives and byproducts that are, that are used to destroy your organs. Right, right. My grandmother, 87-year-old, really healthy, had um, started to get where, like, you'd look at her and 20 minutes into a conversation, she'd go from upright to leaning on something because there was a blockage in her arteries. And the doctors put her on this medication, and one of the doctors told her, don't take it, it'll destroy your kidneys, so she quit taking it. And after she had this uh, open bypass where they went in and cleaned out her arteries, she said, they gave me all these prescriptions, and I'm not taking one of them. I'm fine. I said, that's right, Grandma. Trust in the most high. You know, that's exactly. Right. Don't, don't trust with these sorceress. No way. And and I also found out recently that the um, swine virus uh, vaccine that they're going to be putting out, it yeah. has a, a source of gelatin in it, which is most likely pork, and based on our practices, we can deny that. Yes. Well, well, they they have something for those that deny it. Also, they want to make it mandatory due to due to a level six. The military will override all that. Mm. Like, if you get the vaccines, you'll get quarantined. Got it. See the result. If you don't get the vaccines, you're getting quarantined because there's a chance you are a threat to society. Mm-hmm. You are a terrorist. <laughs> okay. So. The best way to deal with this whole thing is get, getting out of America. Yes, yeah, right. Sister, I have to go because we have one minute left. So I'm going to go. You know we love you. Yeah, and I'm waiting for you guys to make all the arrangements for your making it. Or like I need to know what date you're coming up here. We're coming to upstate New York, and I'm going to tell you very soon. Okay. Take Shalom. Care. Shalom. Sister Tammy. Well, I want to say this, brothers and sisters, we love we love you, and uh, we're going to be back next week, and soon we'll be in Texas, finally. Something great going to happen when we go to Texas, because it, it, this thing been hold up, held off for a long time, and we're finally going to hit Texas. I don't know what's going to happen when we get there, but I know that something deep. A lot of brothers and sisters are waiting for us, and guess what, brothers and sisters? We're coming. With that, I'm going to say we love you. Stay away from these mental medications that are and stay with me, sorcerers and, and witches and homosexuals. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free.